Alrighty guys, we got the X36 here. It is uh, it is maiden day here to see if this is gonna if this is gonna happen. Uh, I am just making sure that the trim all looks good. The rates uh, seem pretty decent for for what I'm trying to do. Uh, there's a lot of control surface, so I gotta make sure that I'm good here. It's got a little bit of reflex up which I don't know if it needs it because the glide tests were great. Um, I have the CG pretty much right exactly where the CG worked well. Um, now there's a lot of, I think there might be confusion on this. This plane was never designed to have a vertical tail. I put a vertical tail on just for the Maiden. If this flies well, I'm gonna start trimming it down to nothing. I want this to fly without a vertical tail. Um, I did do some of my tricks. I implemented some of my tricks into the canards and also the, uh, the main wings to create more stability in the flying surface. Um, and I am hoping that that will be enough to at least make it fly well without a vertical tail. I'll give everybody the option. So all that's left to do is throw it up. It's got better than one-to-one -one thrust. So my guess is to throw it a little bit pitched up, maybe if on a 45, so that I have time to catch this thing if it does, if it does crash. Uh, so this is all there is to do, is just throw it and hope I can get my fingers on the sticks fast enough. I always get really nervous on maidens like this. I really, really want this thing to fly well. So uh, let's give it a shot. Let's get out here a little bit. We're gonna go right into the wind and uh, let's see what happens. Oh, 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 it flew so well and, and then it pitched up too much. I hope it's okay. I hope I can fly this thing again. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's not broken. All right. I brought the CG forward a little bit cuz it did a it did something weird there. Let's try it again. Let's let's get it a little bit higher and see if we can get it get it flying. Back is kind of breaking also. Everything's breaking. All right, let's see. Ready? Into the wind. Yeah, something's, something's unstable with it. Um, I just don't know if I should try this again. Probably not a good idea, because I really don't feel like cleaning stuff up. Uh, but then again, am I going to have another opportunity? Am I even going to attempt to make this again with, uh, I had high hopes for this. I really did. I really thought this thing was going to fly. Um, this is sad because I, I really, I mean, the glide tests will show that it was going to be great, but, uh, it obviously is not. So I did move the CG forward a bit. Uh, hmm. This whole nose piece is gonna come off. I, I, I'll just throw it again. I'll give it another try and see what happens. See if it even flies. Okay, that was, that was much better. So the CG has to be forward. That was much better. What was, oh, I lost, I lost control surface. Oh man, I lost control. I don't have this one. This one's not working for some reason. Why is it? Oh, it broke. Ah, this is when I wish I brought CA glue to the field with me. The CG has to be forward. The CG was just back. That was that would have been great. It would have flew awesome if I just moved the CG forward a little bit. So now I know at least I can I can repair this and fly this thing again for sure. Uh, 
once I uh, once I get the CG fixed up a little bit. So I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can if I can glue this thing up back together. Uh, Mr. Potato had it, and uh, and definitely I'm gonna try and fly this thing again. Hopefully I'm gonna go and get my work van and um, maybe I'll throw it up on the way to my job. Okay guys, we're back. I went home and I fixed uh, I fixed the front. I, I CA glued a bunch of it here uh, so it's secure, I can use the canopy. I moved the CG forward to roughly like right, basically like where my thumbs are right here. So I moved the CG forward and I fixed the control horn that was that was broken and uh, and hopefully we can get this thing flying now. The wind has substantially picked up. That was one of the reasons why I came early because it was the only part of the day that it was under 20 miles an hour and now we're about 20 mile an hour uh, head on this way. It's shifting, shifting this way from this morning. So uh, let's go ahead and throw this guy up again. Uh, it looked promising on the last crash flight uh, that there was uh, there was definitely some some promising flight characteristics at the end of that one flight where it was like I just didn't have any control because the uh, the, uh, the control horn blo broke off. So let's try it again. Yep, it's flying. Yep, she's flying. Is it tail heavy? Might be a little bit tail heavy still. Definitely flies good though. Oh. Okay, so it definitely, when it got a winch here, get it out of the wind. Come on, buddy, come on. It's super windy for this thing. It's way too windy to be flying this thing. Let's see what it wants to do in the glide. Definitely need, it's definitely unstable. Let's see, let's just glide it in. All right, so I think it might still be tail heavy. It's a little shifty. Um, the, the weird thing is that it flew really nice in the beginning and then once it got up in the wind, it started getting tossed all over the place. Alright, ready? Ooh, 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 the wind almost just took it out of my hand. That's the problem with these with these little guys. When you get a wind gust, it wants to just leave. Right, ready? Get it out, out there so that it's... If it does decide to crash, I can kind of... It's better. It's definitely better. Whoa! Roll rate's crazy. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so it's definitely flying better. With the uh oh it's still it's it's it needs a twenty two hundred to balance. Alright. Look at this thing glide now. Look at it glide now. Look at how perfect. I think I did find a really good CG. I might be just slightly, slightly behind. Wow. Wow. This thing flies really nice, guys. Definitely fighting some torque roll. Uh, so I just put four or five clicks. Look at it glide, though. So that is definitely an aft CG. That's off stick. Completely off stick. Ooh, the wind is bad. Great flying plane. Holy. Oh, <laughs> it is a great flying plane. Really good. Wow. I am so glad I didn't give up. I was about to because it was, uh, it just, I can usually see a rear CG. CG issue. Oh, okay. 
All right, let me try, uh, I'm gonna try a 2200 in here. So the CG is currently about here, right there. So if I have my pen with me, the CG is right there, okay? So now I want to get the 1300 out and put a 2200. The CG is slightly forward of where I was before, now with the 2200. So, oh, I forgot I have to take my, uh, I have to take my hat off of, um, my hat. <laughs> I have to take my camera off of the uh, the wide angle here. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, zoom it in. Okay. Launching in the wind is tricky. So if this flies good, we're going to start trimming down the. Uh, we're going to start trimming, trimming the uh, the vertical stabilizer. Okay. So now it's flying really stable. Oh, I didn't. Oh, oh, did you see that save of the lifetime right there? That was basically a save of a lifetime. <laughs> I gotta stop doing this stuff. All right, so it still looks like, uh, it's definitely better. Yeah, that, that's where the CG needs to be, I think. All right, so what do we think? We wanna start trimming? Let's start trimming then. All right, so let's, let's cut about a third off of this. Okay. All right. All right, what do we think about that, guys? All right, let me zoom back in. There we go, okay. So I took about a third off of the tail. Okay, so I took about a third off of the tail and we're gonna see, we're gonna see if this thing flies. Let's take a look. Might be able to get away with a small one. The problem is the wind. If it wasn't so windy right now, I'd be able to gauge this whole thing a lot better. But it is windy, so we gotta deal with it. Ooh. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it. Uh oh. It needed it. I think it needed the tail, guys. It needed it. It's it's still flying really well, but it's but you. I think it think it needs the tail, guys. It really does. Yeah, it's like not. It's for some reason. It's like not turning. I think I might have a problem with with one of my elevons. To be honest. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. My left one wasn't wasn't firing completely right. Now at least I know that I am going to uh, definitely fly this thing with a tail. It does need one, uh, unless you guys want to rock a gyro with it. But I'll make the plan so that you can you can run it uh, with or without the uh, the tail on it. If you guys want to want to try and run a gyro uh, and be the first person to to fly an X36 3D printed. Uh, airplane you're you're welcome to do that but I'm gonna print another one of these and um, and I'm gonna definitely get the uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna revise the tail a little bit so it sits on a so it sits on an actual pedestal and um, or I could put hash marks in the design so that you guys know where to glue the tail on and I'll shape the tail so that it, it, it literally just it'll it'll form fit to the uh, to the fuselage so um, I'm gonna reprint this I definitely like the way that it flew um, 
with, uh, let me just throw this stuff away real quick. Um, I like the way that it flew the second time with the tail. So the other issue is, I hope it wasn't the tail because this, this thing here was, was, oh, that was breaking. Oh, I knew it felt, felt weird. So it might not have been the tail. I'm going to, I'm going to revisit this whole thing and I'm going to come back to it. So I uh, hope you guys like the video. And